I've got Liquid Bounce here right now as you can see and today I'm going to be giving you an in-depth tutorial on exactly how you can use this client. All the ins and outs, I'm going to be explaining everything for you. If you want a specific tutorial on how to download it for whatever game version you want, then I will leave those down in the description below. Anyways, let's get right in. So starting off, the most important thing is the keybind to open up the main menu which is the right hand shift button. As you can see when I click on that over here it opens up this big menu which is the main part of this client. Here you'll be able to see all the utilities. Great, so let's get started. To enable them what you can do is simply click on them just like so. You'll get a little notification down here that it's being turned on and up the top over there you will be able to see a list of everything that you have enabled. Anyways, back in the menu, to turn something off, you can click on it once again. You can see that something is actually enabled by the fact that, as you can see, it'll be slightly highlighted over here. Now, in this big menu, um, you'll actually be able to scroll through these sections as well. Some people don't realize that, um, and sometimes they miss out on stuff. So, make sure that you do realize that. You can reorganize these to your liking as well if you wish to do so and do keep in mind that all of these are different sections for basically different types of utilities. These should be able to help you find what you're looking for a little easier. And if you know something specific, well you can also type it in the search bar. Anyways, all of these, left click to turn it on, as I said, left click to turn it off again. However, you can also actually right click on them. This will open up a drop down menu, as you can see over here. And what this is going to do is this is going to give you basically a little bit a customization menu for each specific utility. Some will have more. As you can see, this one has quite a lot. It allows you to change quite a few things with this utility. If I get lucky, there we go. This one, as you can see, has a little less, but it does have different things. For example, allowing you to change colors, enable rainbows, which is something that the anti-bot didn't have. So all of these have unique customization options, as I said. Now something that all of these have in common in the customization menus is that they have a hidden function. What this will do if you tick this is as you can see when I enable it now it won't actually show as enabled in the top right hand side. So if you want that then you can do that. As you can see if I disable this it is going to be showing right there. So you know some of you might want that. So that is basically it for this large menu. There isn't really much more to that. Moving on, we can check out all the chat functions because this client has a large amount of actual commands. So we can open up the chat over here and so just so you know, the command prefix is the dot much as you would use the slash in regular vanilla Minecraft. We can type in dot help over here and what that is going to do is as you can see I'll open up the chat over here it is actually going to open it's, it's really going to show us every single command that there is. So we have dot auto disable binds binds chat clear client etc etc. As you can see this is only page one of four so we can also type in dot help and then two, which will give us the second page of the dot help menu. You get the idea. All of these, you can look up at the usage online if you're unsure, of course, but many of them should be pretty self-explanatory. Dot give, for example. You might know of a command in regular vanilla Minecraft, which is slash give. Well, they work really similarly. Basically, let's say I still don't know how it works, I can type dot give in chat. And what this is going to do is it's going to tell me the usage. So dot give item and then the amount. Great, now I know how to use that. So I can type in dot give. What do I want? Maybe I want a diamond. And how much do I want? I want this many. There we go. Um, I didn't know it was going to work like that, but you know, who cares? I can now spread it out throughout my inventory. Um, odd, but okay. <laughs> cool. So, anyways, did it necessarily go to plan? But you get the idea, I suppose. Now, there is actually a pretty important 
Well, the most important command of these all really is dot .bind. So I can type it in chat over here, and this way you'll get the um, the usage here. So it's dot .bind model module and then the key. And what this allows you to do is to key bind to specific modules in this module menu over here. So let's say this fly one over here. I've customized it to my liking and I don't want to have to go through here every time I want to enable it because I use it very often. Right, let's say. So then we can type in dot bind in the chat then the um, utility we want which in my case is fly right over there and then the key. So for example F. Now if I hit enter we've bound the module fly to the key F, which means that every time I press on F, fly is going to be enabled, and every time I press on F again, fly is going to be disabled. Great. Now, in the chat over here, you might have actually noticed something else. That is this check mark over here. What this shows us is that you can always chat safely in single player and self-hosted LAN worlds. Basically, getting rid of the potential of you getting banned by what you're saying. This lock over here, as you can see, you can click on this. It allows you to encrypt your messages. So that's great. You can click on proceed there if you wish to do so. You can also configure it to your liking. Once you have done so, you can click on it. As you can see, now that it's turned purple, it has been enabled. That really brings us on to something in the escape menu here. As you can see, this mods area so we can click on that and there we are liquid bounce so we know we're using that and that's why it's in this area then we also have minecraft odd well basically what that really is is the same thing as in the resource packs area you always have the default minecraft here you can't turn it off right so that's basically how that works there so going back into this mods area. Now moving on, we also have the option of adding a mod menu. This adds a mod menu to view the list of mods that you have installed, which in our case can be these. Um, we can click on this and eventually enable it as well. However, we can actually also click on this area and customize this completely. Most of this should once again be pretty self-explanatory. I believe most of this is also just um, purely visual, just, you know, customizing it. So then we have the option to enable no chat reports, which strip cryptographic signatures from players' messages, much like we just saw in the chat area. Then we have sodium as well, which I believe is something like a liquid bounce fork, um, very similar at least. And finally, via Fabric Plus. Basically, all of these are kind of... Um, say advertised by liquid bounce or at least affiliated with so so as you can see let's say we want this sodium client over here we can go to the website and download it for ourselves but to be honest that's kind of a different story i just kind of wanted to explain how this area works in case you stumble on it and are completely confused anyways basically that is kind of just that for right now if you do have any more questions though then do feel free to leave those down in the comments for right now thank you ever so much for watching and i hope to see you again in the next one Bye bye